I think we both learned about like ourselves, about our, about our, you know, our, our relationships and people we've taken these, these, these trips with, like, how do you integrate these things into your life afterwards? <clears throat> like when you, when, when you've come on these trips, like even if you, if you could share, if, if anything came from this, this recent gigantic trip that you, that you had, are there any like things that you realize that you're trying now to integrate into your day to day life? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So there is one, one business example comes to mind and it's pertinent because um, I remember I read a lot of business books at the start, like early in my early in my 20s and my late teens and stuff like that. I was really into business books and I remember reading um, about this idea that you should work uh, on the business, not in the business. Right. Um, and conceptually, I like understood it and I was like, OK, that makes sense. And I was thinking about it and I hadn't really started a business at that point, so I couldn't really, you know, physically apply it, but I kind of took in that idea and internalized it. Uh, but now I'm 35 years old. So like 15 years have passed. I've been running my own business for 10 plus years. And while I was away, I was like, oh my God, I've been working on the bit. I've been working in the business rather than on the business. You know, the day to day has taken up a hundred percent of my work time. Wow. There's no time to work, uh, on the business as opposed to in it. So, um, it's quite funny to think that, yeah, you, you, inter you, you, you took on board this lesson in your early twenties, then you completely ignored it for 15 years. <laughs> and I had, and I sort of said to my friends at, at various points, I said, you know, I've had this idea that we could work with uh, coaches that we could, you know, do these different things, partner with gyms, you know, et cetera. I had all these kind of big ideas. Um, but it, I kind of realized I was having these conversations with my friends and like 12 months would have passed and I would have taken no action uh, towards those ideas. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm so consumed by the business. And that realization really came to light during my time in, uh, India and Nepal and taking a couple of months away from doing a sabbatical and taking a couple of months away from work. Right. Um, I was able to sort of finally think about that idea and come back with a full intention of, of implementing it. And I told myself, I'm not going to be able to instantly make this change, um, but I can make a start on it, you know, the minute I get back. Um, and I, I sort of made sure to, you know, journal about it and take notes about it so I can kind of come back to like, these were some of the things and these were some of the takeaways that I had and like how, how much progress have I made towards making these changes. Wow. Um, but while also acknowledging that, yeah, it's going to take time. I'm not going to come back, click my fingers, and everything's going to be totally different. That's not how it works. Uh, it's, a, right. it's a work in progress, right? So, yeah, for me, I'm, now I'm trying to uh, spend less time on 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 day to day activities that I was doing inside the business, um, you know, and through various changes in the business, try and free up my time so that I can take some of these bigger bets uh, on some of these bigger strategies that that might uh, really uh, grow things in a better uh, direction. But I sort of, yeah, there was a big difference between being aware of this issue over twelve months ago. Um, and then finally having some time away from the business to actually think it through and actually like come back uh, with a sort of fresh slate uh, and then change things uh, as I sort of see fit. Because that separation was just enormous for, for having that clarity, basically. 